Well, hello and welcome back. I am ready to. Another thing is hot. This is 12 minutes until boiled. I'm gonna take that with me. Um, I'm gonna do a quick check to see how much water I do have here. 3.7 liters. Wouldn't hurt to get another half liter cooked up at the very least. Okay. I am going to just have to uh, pick that up. Take it. Grab my can. Take Drink that tea. And grab a torch and hope I can, whoa. Yeah, hope I can make it all the way across here without burning through all of my matches. Need to keep an eye out for sticks. I may need to make a stick fire to hold a wolf at bay. But I mean, really, uh, for the amount of effort I put forth to get here and get a night's full night's sleep, really didn't get that much condition back. I thought for sure I'd be strutting on under that place, you know, really well rested. And uh, in really good shape. I mean, I suppose 53% is pretty good shape for me. And that uh, light shell actually affords quite a bit more warmth for when I'm back in my shelter. And I did get enough food to last me a few more days. And I have enough water to go a couple of days without I'm making a fire. And seeing as I, uh... Damn it. So hungry. No. Seeing as I wasted a whole bunch of matches, it's going to be fairly important that I, uh... be able to skip a day or two without making a fire. I was already pretty pretty choked that that cost me three matches to get all the way around to the poacher's camp. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go this way again. Let alone, you know. Two more matches right on the bloody front lawn of the place. That's where I want to head. So I think... Yeah, I'm just kind of... Kind of skirt around the edge here. that around. There we are. Okay, I'm just watching for anything that moves.
Because outside of the uh, distance of the torch here, you really can't see much. Oh, yes. Okay, I need to go back this way. Kind of turned around here. This is the direction I want to go. Run. Okay. Yeah, either way, I am going to have to do a quick stop and make, uh, make, um, some more fuel from chopping down things. I mean, it is, it's pretty optimal to have this hacksaw. It really, uh, really changes up the game for me. Because now I can actually harvest uh, decent uh, amounts of wood. So there's still many, many, many cattails here. I only need so many to get through this. reason I keep uh, keep the torch chain going here is just in case it needs to uh, start a fire yeah this is this is the only thing about going back you know having the safe route and then using it is you uh, you know you tend to grab most of the cattails on the way through, or, you know, most of the sticks. These 24% torches really don't last very long. Because I'm not really that. I don't know if I can make it. Can I make it across there? I think I can. Just hook over this way and run. Yep. Not something you want to try a little tired or in a headwind. Well, this uh, next door should get me up into the uh, cave. And I can start warming up. Whew. 
again a very tough ride but see this is the thing I need that uh, I need what the um, what the snow shelter offers right I doubt I have another torch but we'll check all the same no I do not so we'll just take you with till you burn out So this is it. I've got three matches. Three matches to get me through. Well, we'll check on my journal up here in a sec. Three whole matches. And journal says, ah, alive for nine days. So I have survived for eight. And it ties the uh, previous record I've managed to set in good old Forlorn. And I'm pretty, I'd have to say I'm better off than I was. So. All right, well, I will see you in the morning. I'm going to try to get somehow get the moose to let me kill a rabbit. That's what I'm I need to kill a couple of rabbits while I'm up here. Look at that. 35% jeepers. It just hurts just walking around this place. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Ooh, looks frosty out here. Looks very frosty. There's the moose with his little rabbit buddies. Rabbits are afraid of them. So they, they do get driven kind of back over here. Which is nice. Sorry, man. Okay, now run. Oh, look, a stick. Grab that. Okay, it's cooling off. And it looks like it wants to turn into a vicious windstorm. Um... Well, I had to tear down my scarf or piece of cloth because my snow shelter was uh, so in such a bad way it needed cloth to fix it and I didn't want to risk uh, it getting completely destroyed. So I'm going to pop in here. See if I can warm up at all. 
No, it is freezing out there. That is ridiculous. I can't do anything in this in this level of cold. I'm going to have to wait for it to warm up a bit before I can get some sleep. Obviously, a cold front has come in. Yes, you are freezing. Well, you know what? I've got a rabbit I can harvest. Which is nice. I need to find a place to rest. Oh, you did have a place to rest, but... Uh, Am I wearing all my clothes? Yes, I am. Good boy. Yeah. Okay, so we're sitting at 35% still. All right, well. Let's get this guy. Um, drop that and that, and let's, uh, let's head out. Let's see, am I still... Oh, not, not freezing here anymore. Okay, so... I actually pop back out here. Drop that. Pop back into the snow shelter. Eat some, eat some food and rest. And it's pretty scary every time I try to rest. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep for just one hour. Nice and warm. Okay. Oh, I want to walk on the snow shelter. That can't be good for it. Anything, eh? Big spooky animal over there. Ooh, a stick. Let's see now. I have survived nine days. I have three matches. This just says light a fire right here and get all this wood. Okay, because I went and I burnt all my torches, so wish me luck on that 95%. Yikes. And again, if I get enough resources to spend a night again at Spence's, I'm probably going to try to make the circuit back down there. 
So I'd rather be guaranteed a, a fire for 10 hours and be able to sleep. Hey, imagine that. The wind picked up. I get a few sticks on there anyhow. How's it feel? Good. Good. Oh, don't step in the fire. Wait a second. I want to make sure I can get through this. That is so good. Okay, nice and warm. Again, I can go and... Uh, Probably cook a piece of rabbit on there while I uh, while I saw down this last last piece, just the kilogram piece, just the kilogram piece. It's not the one I want. We'll have to see though. It's got to take over an hour to cook or else uh, I won't be able to do that or else it'll burn away to nothing. So if you are looking for firewood, this is definitely the place to uh, do it. Yep, that is perfect. So I will put a few more sticks on there. Get me past that hour and a half point. Grab that off the fire. Nice. Um Set that down. What do we got on there? Start grabbing some torches. Because the next time I light a fire, I want to do it from, you know, the uh, torch uh, side. Not from the match and hope side. That's... Right, grab this, throw this on there, start up some water, speaking of water, got five more days to go in this place and I think I got it. Or at least I'm pretty close anyway. Yeah, well, you know what? In a little bit, we're going to do exactly that. Because you'll have enough food and water to get through a couple of days, and we can kind of sleep in here and read and... Got that nice archery book I can read. Yeah, that moose just blends right in there. I was about to go over and start messing with that bunny, but I think that would just get me trampled. Okay. Here she goes. She's got quite a bit of fur. have that right now. Let's 
see, do I have anything that... So the torches are all right. This poor little fella almost burnt out, but I did find a couple of pieces of coal while I was wandering through that. So, yeah, I've got a, about nine hours worth of fire time. I'm ready to go. And I'll throw one more stick on there. A little bit more water, sure. I need something to eat. Well, I think that's all we're going to get out of this one, too, so... Um, Yes, I have to sleep um, pretty much at the early part of the evening, late afternoon. I think that's my new bedtime when I'm out here anyway. Because, yeah, I just don't trust that fire. So I need one more mushroom somewhere out there, too, to make, make a complete set. Oh, there's some over on, actually, on that side, so... Do I start another fire? Can you get in here? Well, actually, I have... Let's get that up to 100%. Oh, no way. I have a... Got a torch in here with me. That is pleasant. Delete that. A little bit of this. All right. Hopefully I don't get killed by sleeping. Phew. So, journal says 10 days. 9 days still survived. Uh, yeah. Sure is boring almost dying all the time. Yikes. Okay, well. 9 days, 19 hours. How is it? Ugh. Oh. I can get away with one hour, I think. It's gonna want to freeze me. Man, I could eat anything. Ooh, I'm really pushing it. So yeah, I'm gonna 
Well. Yeah, it's just too cold. Okay. Let's get into our cave and hide for a while. Hide from the morning temperatures. See, it's just, it's too, it's really too cold to get any condition back doing it like this at this point. But that's okay, I need to rest and recover. And I will do so. And uh, I guess um, on the next video, I'll pretty much probably be able to wrap it up, you know? Um, we'll see. I got down to my last two matches. Um, and I have, oh, 11 days, nine days, oh, and 21 hours or something like this. So, uh, well, what am I to do now? I guess past time and warm up. Oh, what a waste of calories. Well, I'll do that twice. Then I'll be able to read, I guess. So yeah, yeah, we got enough food for about three days right now. So there we go. Especially since I'm not doing a lot of sleeping, right? So all the calories are kind of being burnt off. So there we are, 10 days survived. Oh boy, right on the edge. Um, I haven't really been able to get her past 50%. But yeah, I'm just going to clip out, hop back in this cave, and then uh, we'll take it from here on the next episode. And I should be able to get through two or three days, hopefully, without making much more fire. I don't know. The odds are, are not really in my favor, but four days, two matches. I mean, I did that to myself, uh, but no, not for something fun to do, that's for sure. So I got to collect some more wood God. and then maybe get down to Spence again and try to get a full night's sleep. So, yeah, and I can think of at least five or six cattails that if I kind of swoop back towards the center there, I might be able to get. All right. Well, hopefully we'll see you next time. Until then, keep surviving. And, uh, yeah. I'll try to do the same. So, alright. Thank you very much for watching. Watching me struggle away in the old skeg here. Whew. It's enough to make a fella sweat. Alright, we'll see you next time.